Steve here, and I'm afraid I've got some rather unfortunate news for the channel. Uh, Q-Ball, that was the vampire that was living here at my mom's place, he died this afternoon. He opened a closet door, walked out into the sunlight, and was vaporized. All on account of daylight savings time. Uh, daylight savings time has killed another victim, our beloved vampire friend Q-Ball. Now, how this happened, it was, it's a quite common thing. See, vampires, as y'all know, they can't go out in the sunlight or they get vaporized. So, during the daytime, they will find some place dark to hang out in. You know, like their coffins or a cellar. Or in Q-Ball's uh, case, he was living in a very dark closet. And he had an alarm clock that would sound, letting him know when the sun had gone down. And then it would be safe for him to walk out. You know, he couldn't just open the door because even if he got a little sunlight, it could blind him, it could burn him. So he was relying on this alarm. Now what happened was, you know, daylight savings time, uh, we had to set our clocks ahead an hour, it's like we do every year. And that would, you know, that wouldn't have affected too many things with Q-Ball, except he didn't reset his alarm. You know, it was set for 6.30, and that during standard time, you know, that's after sun sundown, so it would have been dark. But during daylight savings time, the sun was still out at 6.30, and he walked right into the sun, and now he, he's gone. And this happens every year with vampires. They, you know, they'll reset their clocks for daylight savings time, but they won't reset the alarm, and then they'll walk out, and they'll, they'll catch on fire. Hundreds of vampires die, die every year around when daylight savings time starts. And just, you know, that's why we, we, that's just another reason to get rid of daylight savings time. Think of the vampires and daylight savings time.